are both pretty hyped to see how well Skittles can do. He's been making some really good runs recently <laughs> as he chugs the milk. I love that. Although Salem did just hold up the Joker card. I don't know if you noticed that. I don't think he's going to play Joker, but I could be proven wrong. Salem, I feel like his random is better than like 99.9% .9 of players. So. Yeah, Salem just has played a lot of Smash in his career across games, but it is going to be the Snake. So we are going to see Snake, Young Link. Honestly, in terms of the way matchups go, I feel like Young Link Snake might be better for Young Link than some of the other characters that Salem plays because these project these heavy projectile characters that really have to combat each other in that way where they've got pretty solid aerials when you're close up. This is like a either way type of thing. Mm -hmm. So we'll see how well Skittles can kind of set up his wall game, set up his projectile game, set up any combos that he has off of him because Salem is going to probably get up close and personal and play a real lot less of his own projectile game and a lot more of forcing Young Link to do the best they can. I already have to applaud Skittles for not gentlemaning the Pokemon Stadium because that is one of Snake's best stages. And although, going to Final Destination, we just see that Snake here, his wall is impeccable as it goes all the way to the top. You try to dodge the, uh, the down smash of the ledge and you get mortared for your trouble. Ah, but Skittles coming back with a combo of his own. Not going too wild there with like an up B or anything crazy, but getting a good 60 damage or so since he lost that stock. Kind of getting a feel for the way Salem's been playing. Salem's been playing real up close and personal, so Skittles are going to have to adapt to that, and so far so good. Although the Nikita from all the way across the stage, you see Salem taking as much time as he can just to buy a little bit of space to get away from this young Link because he's throwing out all sorts of fire arrows, all sorts of boomerangs, getting every little bit of chip damage as he can. This is the one character I don't understand in terms of, like, character canonical, like, loyalty. Young Link doesn't have fire arrows. Maybe a Majora's Mask, I guess. You gotta be an adult to use them fire arrows. Yeah, you're right. In, uh, Ocarina. In Ocarina, you do have to be an adult to use the bow at, in any capacity at all, so. I'm just gonna point that out there. A little bit of a tiny discrepancy as... I do think this is technically Majora's Mask, Young Link. Okay, not, well, that, not that, a time, young that would be much more reasonable then. Ooh. Skittle going for that combo off the boomerang. Salem just ducking it. Grenade going to get in that extra damage. Salem not afraid to throw out Nikita's because, like, you almost have to shield Nikita, and it's a virtual free grab every time. Skittle's going to have to figure out a way to, like, dash jump over those or something and punish any of Salem's approaches. So that's going to be hard to deal the with. The problem is if you dash forward, then you're closer to Snake, and you, we see that Snake's boxing, uh, Salem's boxing with Snake has been exceptional so far. Yeah, a big part of the difficulty in this matchup for Young Link is the, that he has a tether grab. Mm -hmm. Like one of those elongated tether grabs, because Snake is a projectile character that can just run up and, well, you know, do place you gently on the ground as he kicks you in the top <laughs> of the chin. All right, dodging all these explosions is Skittles so far, and he's going for really high up B, trying to get a snipe on the recovery, but instead it's going to be Snake who finds the killing blow, and he's at 177. Incredible so far. The up tilt, that, you don't want to be killing with up tilt if you're Young Link, but I guess you'll take it if none of your other kill setups are working. Yeah, they've actually, Salem pretty much had a virtual zero to death the first stock, so they've played even since that happened, so you can't be too upset if you're Skittles getting the kill there. He's playing much more confident, I'd say. He's mm -hmm. been much more precise on a lot of his inputs. Uh, he's been less afraid to use his own projectile game. And Salem's been using more of a projectile game, and I feel like it's actually been hurting him since he's gotten to that point. Like, he's got a lead, and he's trying to just chip damage it away. But it's almost allowing Skittles back in the game. But now Skittles is, is playing the projectile v projectile super well. Ooh, a double fire error combo. Not going to lead to too much, though. No killing blow to be had this time. And he's only taken 1% on this stock until this final blow hits. But look, it's Snake, man. Commentator's curse. He just took 64 damage, and he's going to die. He went for the up B, and it went the wrong way, so he shakes his head. Skittles really not looking pleased. Yeah, that game was closer than the result indicates. Like you said, the, the, there was the zero to death at the start. Yep. And then uh, they, they played in parity for a little while, and then there was kind of an SD at the end. So Skittles played really good. Y y thing is, you just have to kind of reset, say, okay, that game happened. I'm going to play. I'm going to take the really good parts of that game. I'm going to try to apply it to the entire game here in game two. So let's see if Skittles can make that happen. Yeah, he was getting really good with the kind of like fire arrow. I don't want to call it spam because he would use like two into approach because he would know the second one would have to hit because Salem was doing a lot of like, I'm going to shield and pull grenade because he was far away. And the fire arrows are actually just too quick to allow you to do that consistently. Mm, they're insanely fast. 
Quick little bomb combo to start things off here. And a little bit too slow on that up the out of shield. Those aerials on landing are not exactly safe unless Snake has like a grenade or something in his hand. That's that's when you can cover yourself with some safety as Snake in the CQC. But missing the opportunity to punish a little bit here is Skittles. And now he's paying the price. Yeah, big negative for Young Link over the. Oh, what? that's an unfortunate SD. He fast fell, and I think he was trying to fast fall to ledge, and I think he pushed an input trying to like immediately get up off ledge, and he just didn't. So he was trying to like get up off ledge and then buffer neutral beat or something, and he just fell to his death. Might have been like an attempt at fast fall tether, and then the tether just didn't go because you can only tether the ledge so many times. Maybe that's what happened. I'd have to see that back in a replay or something. But now yeah. he's trying to force the issue a little bit, and I think Salem is taking advantage of this impatience. Yeah, you can't be impatient against a player like Salem, somebody who has been experienced at being one of the most patient players in the world throughout his Smash 4 tenure and Brawl tenure. Very strong player that you do not want to allow him to take the time. And now he's got all the time in the world. He's going to go for Nikita to forward air on your shield because why not? I'm actually shocked that didn't shield poke in any capacity, but, you know, Skittles is hanging on here for dear life. Yeah, Salem picks some interesting buttons when he plays, things that a lot of players you would just not expect him to do that. Other mains of the characters they'll play will be like, why did you pick that option? Honestly, you could probably sit there and just be like, because it worked. All the Snake players, they really do have different trees that they go for, different combo trees, different shield pressure trees. And uh, Salem showing that to, to good effect so far in this game, too, as he's putting on 158% already onto this young link. Yeah, Skittles has a large amount of uphill work he needs to do because of that unfortunate SD early. And despite that SD, they are on the same stock. He still hasn't lost that second stock. And now he's getting some extra... Well, I can't call it extra credit as much as I would like to, but he's bringing it closer. Good damage already on the part of Skittles. He's just going for a couple of fire arrows. You don't have time to throw in Nikita, sir. Get back there, oh, but wow! He jumped into it. Galaxy brain Nikita. <laughs> that was nuts. Yeah, he, he put it there to not allow Skittles to jump and approach off of a projectile, and I think a lot of young links are just brain-tuned, like, oh, I arrowed you, let me fair you real quick. And unfortunately, when he hopped up, there it was. Yeah, being a little too jump-happy against Salem, he's going to take advantage of that habit every single time. Now waiting patiently on the side platform. Shades of uh, Smashville from Smash 4, the Bayonetta just hanging out there on the side platform, waiting for the game to transpire. Uh, in, th in this game, and particularly in this matchup, it's a little wow. easier to prevent that. And Skittles now, with that arrow fair, is going to bring this all the way back. And this is very doable. Last stock. Now he can kind of show what he's got. Nares through the Nikita, which I love as an option just to get in on the snake. But then the grab, just not able to do it. Salem was able to, I believe, spot dodge, if I saw that correctly. But now the damage is adding up in an instant here. You see Young Link's damage output already on display. He's gotten a couple of nares, a couple of forward airs. 60%, but it might be too little too late here as this Nikita is omnipresent all over the stage. Yeah, for two projectile characters, these characters have insane damage output. Is that dash attack from Salem out of shield? That's going to take the stock. You don't see that too often. Yeah, that had the perfect knockback angle. I'm not sure if uh, Skills might have had that escape knockback or the escape DI where you're like, okay, I want to move to the right to avoid the move, but then I'm DIing to the right when I get hit by it, and then it sometimes it just falls apart like that. So. There, there is no way Skittles was expecting dash attack to the right out of shield with Snake facing left and was able to DI it reflexively. Mm -hmm. There's just no way. So yeah, that, that the DI is going to assist a little bit, but I mean at 150 damage or so, what he was at from the Nikitas hitting him, there's a good chance he was going to die to that anyway. Right. All right, so we're going to go game three, back to town and city. It's been a pretty popular stage choice today, which makes sense considering the matchups that we have seen. Right. Um, fairly projectile oriented. You want the differences in platforms to kind of mix up your game plan. It's really good for any projectile character. Now, Skittle's looking much better to start this game out. And he air dodges back on the stage, and after SDing the first game early from the tether not connecting, I can't blame him. Yeah, Skills has had a couple of uh, crazy things happen to him through the, the course of this set. So, again, I, I think if he has just the mental fortitude to say, okay, there's just been some silly stuff happening, I can play my game, and my game is excellent, and we already see here almost a kill combo, and presenting himself all the way on the right again, wow. nowhere to go for Snake as he tries to go high. Great coverage from Skittles, and he has a very comfortable lead in Game 3. Yeah, Skittles has honestly played excellently, except for the couple of basically unfortunate SDs that have happened to him. Um, I would, If you subtract those from the formula, I honestly think he's been outplaying Salem just a little bit in neutral. Especially in this game, as you 
CQC, trying to CQC his way into some damage on these down airs is Snake. He's taking a little bit of damage on the back end though from these up he's out of shield and the lead grows for Skittles. Yeah, the one thing Skittles has been doing that hasn't really worked out in his favor have been those lingering down airs. He's been getting punished pretty much whenever he's thrown those out and almost every other move in his arsenal has been working consistently. So if he can avoid putting himself in that bad situation for probably the duration of the set, he's got a good chance to bring this back. The recovery though, very weak from Young Link as we saw, really nowhere to run from that Nikita once you're forced to recover low. Using that tether as much as possible here to just make sure you don't have to recover low in any of those situations is very important for Skittles. Uh, Salem with some really good CQC as that dare finally gonna connect I think for the first time in this set. He got so one in game two but it didn't really lead to too much. A down air. Uh, Yes. Um, the CQC from Snake brought this back so fast, though. He hit, like, three, mm -hmm. like, a grenade into a grenade, into two aerials, and it was 64 damage. Yeah, Snake hits like a truck, even if you don't have grenades in your hand. Oh, perfect angle, though, on the up recovery. If that had been at any other angle, uh, Young Link would have just been super dead. I'll get some with the neutral air, but unable to um, put Salem in that position that he needed to to finish him off. Salem had a real hard time recovering there, but he was able to do it. Skittles getting the arrows in. Salem's been shielding a lot, but he can't shield forever. And now that Skittles is hitting the projectiles, I feel like he's not playing as confidently as he was a moment ago because the stock from Snake just hasn't gone away and he's been getting that chip damage in. You, you don't mind being in this position, but the problem is that Snake with Rage can just kind of blow you up. As we saw, the C4 just narrowly dodged by Skittles. Now there we go. That was a really good fault, like fast fall fair on the second hit. Right as Salem's corner roll came up. That fair almost Whoa. killing off the top. The bomb almost killed him off the top after he was already in the, the high blast zone. But okay, no tech to be had. I don't think there was even a shot. All right, so Skittles now on his winner side life on this stock. See if he can continue the momentum run that he had at the beginning of this game. Now that grenade gonna break up one of his combos, but he's gonna get the grab into more damage. Really smart fire arrow to reset into some more damage as well. The damage output from Young Link is insane. Yeah, Young Link's a very, very underrated character. He just hasn't been used as much as was projected when the game started. Trying to sneak away out of the corner situation. These these fire arrows also just kind of nullify a grenade because like Snake wants to just leave the grenades on the ground to force an approach, right? But the fire arrow can be very useful in that situation as well. Yes, the fire arrow is an excellent, excellent button to be able to press. But this game, fairly even. Salem's projectiles doing everything that he needs them to do to keep Young Link near the kill percentage. Skittles was able to get in for a little bit of a flurry there, but since that happened, uh, he hasn't gotten a whole lot. That's a really good down tilt. The Nair gets the up air. So now Salem finally in a position where he needs to not get hit by an arrow, not get hit by a boomerang, or that's going to combo directly into a fair. Oh, I, I thought he had the tech chase, but he was barely off the mark on that side platform. That would have been lethal for Skittles. Okay, falling fair one to Nair, just to reset. Oh, that bomb actually hit Snake. Usually when they throw him up, you almost never see it actually hit. Mm -hmm. That hitting him right in the foot. Foot's the kill point, as we've learned in many shooting games. That's true. Now Skittles in a great spot, he able to snipe a little bit more with these fire arrows. He's in complete control of the center stage. But now, here comes Snake right back. Oh, that dare was so scary with yeah. the mortar. That dare went all the way through. It went through the mortar, it went through a grenade. He bounced off all of it and evaded it all. But 82% is almost enough for Snake to be able to kill you. So, Skillager went from being able to spam for a while to be oh. in a very dangerous place. And Salem went for it all with that forward air. So, all right, we're going to get a game four. As, as soon as Skittles fast fell over on the right side, I thought that Snake was going to take advantage of him. He went for the grenade into up tilt combo, which would have been <laughs> a crazy way to finish it off. But Skittles does have life yet in winners. That was a wild ending to a game. It looked like Salem just wanted to finish him with the stylish fair, which obviously could come back to haunt him. Skittles really has been playing well this set across the board. Finally able to put it all together to get a big win here. Right. Oh, back to town and city. Yeah, I mean, the stage is great for both projectile characters, as I mentioned earlier, so no real reason for them to play too many other stages. You'll see a lot of that in many sets where both guys are comfortable with stage one. Stage one becomes the stage. But you might see a different kind of counter pick from a player like Salem as Skittles comes out with a 96 damage combo to start this game while I'm talking about town. That was ridiculous. 
This is this is the Skittles we oh. came here to see, ladies and gentlemen, as he goes another forward air to send Salem high into the skies, but not enough to KO. Yeah, and now the dash attack, he really, really needed that, I think, to KO just for the momentum. Would have been incredibly helpful, because now those three air and hits from Snake, and you're at 62 and dead. Oh, no. Because he just went too low. Un unfortunate there for Skittles, and just like we said before, game of inches. If Snake dies at that forward air and doesn't DI it absolutely perfectly, which he needed to do to survive, Skittles were looking at like probably a stock and a half lead here. And there you go, fire it's, arrow. Gets instead, the now job we're done. dead even. That, that's again, you have to talk about just the mental game. If you're Skittles, you just were so close to getting a, a huge lead, an, an absolute statement of the lead, but instead it's an even game. But you know you are good enough to make that situation happen again. So just play your game, play smart, get your damage in when you get it. Back air into falling there is such a quick transition of moves. It almost looks like Game & Watch putting out moves when he's on the ground. Like, there's no actual real end lag from back air for Youngling. No, there really isn't too that, much end lag on any of those aerials. That's crazy, crazy. I haven't seen a real, like, truly good showcase of Youngling in quite some time. There's also uh, in the Midwest Colonies out in Ohio, who actually has a set win on MVD at a tournament a couple months ago, I want to say. I don't remember exactly the name of the tournament, but Colin... Another excellent young Link player. I'm sure these two lab together from the Midwest. And okay, very nice tether. You had to avoid that Nikita at all costs. And Nikita going straight up. That's risky because you can never, when it goes out of the, off of the camera, you have to kind of judge the drift of the Nikita missile without being able to see it. Good tech from Skittles. That was his only out in that situation. So excellent awareness to be able to tech there. A fire are going to stop the dash attack in its tracks instead of beating it out entirely. Salem gonna throw him off stage instead of going for the up tilt. That's actually kind of surprising. The down throw up tilt would not have been confirmed at that spot, I think, so that was good awareness from Salem. And then he does find the snipe with the back air. It wasn't confirmed at that spot, but it's still the DI read. Right. All right, Skittles though, still very much alive. So he gets that fire arrow looking for anything that'll confirm into probably a forward air or whatever other kill option he can find. Perhaps putting Snake up for an up air, but forward air looks like the play Still finds himself on terra firma here. Gets a jab for his trouble, but these are good trades on the part of Salem as he gets a couple of grenade hits, and he's still alive. Yeah, Salem doing a great job of recognizing when Young Link is going to have a kill option, and as you are with a grenade in your hand, very, very open to taking trades when you're up a full stock. Oh, goes for the fair. Is that back air? Yeah, he back aired him out of uh, just his lingering fall animation, but... Salem still here, still kicking on this stock. Forced to use that air dodge just to sneak back up on the stage. A very nice, cute little wave land to just use as much movement as possible to escape from this young Link in this corner. Yeah, that, that comes from the knowledge of playing multiple Smash games. Like, wave landing is not a thing you see too often in this game, but it definitely has its uses, defensively, practically. Gets the up air, but that didn't kill at 180? Town and City, baby. This ain't Smash 4 Town and City with the lower ceiling. No, it's not. And Snake is a heavy, heavy boy. Still kicking here. And we, we could see an up tilt KO onto this young Link because so much rage in the pocket of Snake. Yeah, that now especially with that dash attack damage. Gonna put him in that position. Puts up the mortar, but he gets up thrown and, and dies, dies from the throwing mortar. Him. Wow, the up smash gonna kill because of the rage we were talking about, giving it the extra knockback, just enough to kill, even in the top right corner off of that up smash that lingered and fell right on his head. That Ooh. feels pretty bad, unfortunately, for uh, for Skittles, but you definitely see the potential in him, and he's a very young kid. Uh, like we mentioned, he's the brother of Skilly, both of them very talented players, making their way in the top 16 here, but if Skittles does want to make top 80s,